everybody, welcome to another interactive episode of the Field Observations here at Salati Game Reserve. And what we're going to be doing this morning is we're going to be taking a walk through the bush and we're going to see what you are able to identify. All right, so we found question number one and it's this track in this uh, nice soft sand over here. And uh, yeah, if you take a very good look, you can see there's a tail drag mark going all the way there. Okay, and then we have some feet marks and hand marks, if you will, hand marks going with the, the tail. But if you also have a look, the claws are incredibly sharp and well-defined over here. And then also the environment. We're in a dry river bed at the moment and there is water available as well. Now, can you tell me what species of animal made this track over here? Okay, earlier this morning, we managed to find a tortoise, but it's not around anymore. And uh, we're gonna make this question number two. Now, firstly, this specific tortoise is a medium-sized tortoise. The one that uh, you're seeing is not gonna get much bigger than what it is. Uh, very smooth scaled. And what's also interesting is that it has a well-developed uh, hinge within the carapace that when it closes, it actually covers the rear legs. Also, the mouth is parrot beaked. That's also quite unique with this tortoise. All right, we've managed to find a spider over here and this is gonna be your question number three. All right, if you look very carefully at the spider, you're gonna notice it's quite big, but then also the carapace of the spider is very, very broad, opposed to very narrow, okay? The web, very nice and unique. This web is so strong that they say that it is uh, roughly seven or eight times stronger than steel. Now, don't worry, this uh, spider is not venomous. It's totally harmless to man. Okay, everybody, we've managed to find some dung over here, and this is gonna be your question number four. All right, so this dung over here, and if I put my hand next to it, it's a, you know, it's a fairly large dung if you consider the species. And I don't mean to be funny, but it's almost human-like. Now, if I take a stick and I bash it open, okay, we're gonna find that there can be some grass in here, there can be some seeds, and um, there can also be some insects. And uh, in some cases, the dung turns black, and that is the presence of meat. Also, the environment where this dung is. We're on a nice elevated area over here, which this animal really likes to use, um, and uh, leaving its dung on this rocky outcrop, this granite piece over here. Now, can you tell me who made this dung? All right, so now we found a tree over here and this is gonna be your number, question number five. All right, and it's this tree over here. And if we look, it's a, it's a fairly large size specimen, this one, but generally they don't get big like huge trees. The next thing is also the bark is very, very dark. And then the most easiest of the diagnostic features are in fact these pods over here. You can see that they are almost like a russet or a rusty colored pod. And it's said, if you boil the pods, you can make a very nice tea, although it can induce hiccups. So be careful over there. Now, are you able to identify this tree species? All right, if you said that this track belonged to a water monitor, you would be 100% correct. Well done. Okay, if you said that this was a garden orb web spider, you were 100% correct. Well done. Okay, if you said that this species of animal was a Spex hinge tortoise, you would be 100% correct. Well done. Okay, if you guessed that the species that made this dung was a baboon, you were 100% right. Congratulations. If you said that this was a russet bush willow, you were correct. Awesome job. Thank you for joining us for this field observation this morning. Please subscribe below and be on the lookout for some more great content to come.